Hi everyone, kumusta kayo? My name is Jan Angelo. Welcome to my channel and mag-uusap na naman tayo about skincare, skincare, and skincare. So, make sure to keep watching. So, ang topic natin for this video is all about skincare actives for beginners. So, ang main focus natin on this video is yung mga basics on skincare actives na commonly ginagamit sa mga products natin. So, pag-uusapan natin kung ano ba sila, ano ba yung purpose nila, and how to choose the right actives, the right products, and kung paano sila gamitin sa isang skincare routine. Now, itong video na to is a follow-up doon sa Beginner's Guide to Skincare na video ko. So, kung hindi nyo pa napapanood yon, I do suggest you watch that first bago nyo ito panoorin. So, I'll be linking that sa i button. But for those na alam na yung basics ng skincare and ang gusto nyo nang mangyari ngayon is ma-target yung mga specific skincare concerns nyo, then this video is for you kasi iisa-isahin natin yung mga pinaka-commonly used na skincare actives para mapili ninyo kung alin sa kanila yung pinaka appropriate para sa skin concern and skincare routine ninyo. Also, a small portion of this video is in partnership with Good Molecules, pero marami rin tayong iba pang mga brands and products na pag-uusapan in this video. So, with that being said, wala nang any any, let us begin. Alright, so when it comes to skincare actives, there are four ingredients na lagi ninyong maikita na feature ng mga skincare products or skincare lines ngayon. Now, those ingredients are number one, retinol or retinoids. We also have number two, the very popular niacinamide. Number Number three, we also have exfoliating acids. Kung meron kayo nakikitang mga AHAs or BHAs sa mga product label, yun siya. And lastly, we also have vitamin C. Now, all of these ingredients, meron silang specific role sa isang skincare routine. Pero, in my opinion, sa apat na to, when it comes to a beginner na nagsisimula pa lang sa paggamit ng mga actives, I really do feel na one of these four ingredients is hindi mo na masyadong kailangan for now. And that one ingredient I'm talking about is vitamin C. Now, I know napaka-popular na ingredient ng vitamin C and meron naman siyang mga benefits sa skin. But okay, hear me out first. Now, I'm not saying na walang kwentang ingredient yung vitamin C. It is a good skincare ingredient. However, guys, and alam to ng mga matagal nang nagsiskincare dyan, napaka-complicated na ingredient ang vitamin C. Now, to be able to use vitamin C and know na magiging effective siya sa skin mo, ang dami mong kailangang alamin ng mga factors. As in, yung mga different types ng vitamin C, yung certain products na hindi mo siya pwedeng i-layer with, and even the way kung paano mo siya dapat isa-store. As in, sobrang daming mga factors, guys. And for beginners, medyo mahirap yung lahat i-absorb at i-learn, lalo na kung di mo pa alam yung mga basics kasi sobrang nakaka-overwhelm siya. So, in my opinion, it's better to go into vitamin C kapag medyo maalam ka na about skincare para mas aware ka na on what to look out for. Kasi guys, as a beginner, hindi rin naman siya super must-have. As in, marami siyang nagagawa na nagagawa rin ng retinol, ng niacinamide, and ng exfoliating acids. As in, yung mga first three na sinabi kong commonly used din. So, para sa akin, mas okay to learn about those three ingredients first. Pero guys, don't worry. When the time comes na gusto ng pasukin ang very complicated world ng vitamin C, meron na akong separate video guide for that, which you can check out here. But for now, sa mga beginners na nanonood, focus muna tayo doon sa tatlong na mention, starting with our first active, and this is retinol. Now, nung sinimulan ko yung skincare YouTube ko, isa talaga to sa mga unang inintroduce ko na topics. Kasi guys, ganun talaga ka-impactful ang retinoids or retinol sa skincare. And guys, napakarami niyang strong research as in decades upon decades of evidence, proving na effective siya at marami siyang benefits sa skin. Now, just a quick introduction kung ano ba yung retinol as an ingredient. It's basically derived from vitamin A and part siya ng isang family called retinoids. So, ang retinoids is yung tinatawag nating cell communicating ingredient. And ang ginagawa nila is sinisignal nila yung mga skin cells natin na pabilisin yung tinatawag nating skin cell turnover. Or in simpler terms, yung pagpalit or pag-shed off ng balat natin. Usually kasi guys, as we grow older, bumabagal talaga yung skin cell turnover or yung pagpalit ng balat natin. So, yung retinoid na family, dun siya pumapasok dahil pinapabilis nga niya. And ginagamit siya mostly as a treatment to prevent and reduce reduce the signs of aging, gaya ng mga fine lines and wrinkles, and also it helps to fade yung mga dark spots sa skin natin. So, let's go over some steps on how to use retinol products para ma-lessen or ma-lower yung chance na magka-irritation kayo sa skin. So, unahin muna natin yung pagpili ng retinol. Now, for beginners, you would want to start with a lower percentage of retinol first, and by low, I mean mga 0.1% or 0.2% retinol. 
para slowly makakapag-adjust yung skin ninyo. Now, baka isipin nyo na parang sobrang low naman nung percent, baka wala naman tong effect kung ganito siya kababa. But guys, remember, retinol is a very powerful ingredient. And even at this low of a percentage, it can still give you good results. And then from there guys, pag naubos nyo na yung isang bottle or tube ng low percentage retinol nyo, and then wala naman kayong naging malalang reaction the entire time na ginamit nyo siya, if ginagamit nyo na siya for many months to almost a year and hindi pa kayo satisfied sa results, then pwede na kayo bumili ng higher percentage retinol if you feel like kaya na ng skin ninyo. Now, hindi naman siya required though, people really only do this if, ayun nga, hindi sila masyadong satisfied sa initial results ng low percentage na retinoin. Pero if ready ka na umakyat ng percentages, you can usually go at 0.5% to 1% retinol. So now moving on to the retinol products that I recommend. So meron akong dalawang recommendations for beginners. Ito silang dalawa. We have the Hello Glow Nourishing Night Cream as well as the Good Molecules Gentle Retinol Cream. Now, both of these have 0.1% retinol. Perfect na perfect for beginners. And kung notice ninyo, pareho rin silang in a cream gel base. Kasi usually kapag medyo creamy yung formulation, medyo mas mababa yung chances of irritation sa skin. Mano notice nyo rin that these two have added ingredients na nakaka-soothe ng skin and nakaka-support ng skin barrier. Unay natin tong si Hello Glow. This has ceramides, bakuchiol, and niacinamide which kapag kinumbine nyo with retinol can help the skin na itolerate siya even better. So, gaya nga nang sabi natin kanina, even lower chances na ma-irritate yung skin niyo. Now, on the other hand, itong si Good Molecules naman also has bakuchiol but also alanto and green tea, both of which are also very soothing sa skin to really help your skin stay calm habang ginagawa ng retinol yung job niya. And speaking of these products, ayun na nga guys. So with retinol for beginners, always just remember to use a very small pea-sized amount para spread sa face ninyo. Avoid nyo yung mga areas nito ng mga eyes, nitong sides ng mga nose, and yung mga corners ng lips. And as for yung frequency or yung dalas ng pag-apply ng mga retinol products, always just remember to start slow. And by slow guys, I mean mag-start muna kayo as little as twice a week. Kunyari, Tuesday, Thursday. Tapos the week after that, try nyo naman three times a week. Kunyari, MWF, ganon. And then the week after that, pwedeng four times a week na or every other day. And if throughout those weeks, hindi naman nagre-react or nai-irritate yung skin. Ninyo, then, doon yun na siya pwedeng i-consider for use every night. And yes, notice nyo na night yung sinasabi ko kasi guys, it's really best to just use retinol at night. Now, yes, technically, pwede nyo namang gamitin yung retinol during the day sa ilalim ng sunscreen, pero mas mataas din kasi yung chance na, kunyari, baka ma-deactivate siya ng UV rays ng araw or if pawisin kayo, baka ma-sweat off nyo lang siya. So, hindi rin siya nag-stay sa skin ninyo. So, medyo maraming factors na kailangan alalahanin. So, para mas sulit na lang yung effective ng bawat lagay ninyo ng retinol sa skin, I really just recommend to just apply it at night. And lastly, as for the ingredients na hindi pwedeng i-layer with retinol, retinol should not be paired with the acne medication called benzoyl peroxide. Kasi kinakancel out nila yung isa't isa. So kung gumagamit kayo ng benzoyl peroxide as an acne treatment, I do suggest using benzoyl peroxide sa umaga and then retinol sa gabi. Aside from that, hindi rin sila advisable na nila-layer with exfoliating acids like AHA and BHA as well as vitamin C. And also, yes, again, technically, pwede nyo silang i-layer together, but as a wise dermatologist once said, just because pwede or kaya doesn't mean na dapat. Kasi guys, yes, for some people, it might work and might pa yun ha. Pero sa mga beginners, mas mataas din talaga kasi ang mga chances na hindi nyo siya magawa ng tama or mabuti. Which again, irritation na naman yung bagsak natin doon. Which again, we don't want to happen. Alright, so at this point, move forward na tayo to our second commonly used skincare active. This is the very, very, very popular niacinamide. So kung dati pa kayo nanonood ng mga videos ko dito sa YouTube, you guys already already know na sinasabi ko na dati, sinasamba talaga natin ang niacinamide na ingredient sa channel na to. Yung niacinamide kasi guys, as an ingredient, mura siya, madali lang siya to formulate with, and wala siya masyadong mga ingredients na bawal ipagsabay sa kanya. And even recently, we found out from experts like cosmetic chemists and board-certified dermatologists here and abroad na pwede na ring isabay ang vitamin C with niacinamide. Now, more on that later, pero ang point lang that I'm driving to is, very flexible siyang ingredient 
ingredient in so many ways. Na una, very flexible siya in terms of the skin concerns that you can use it for. Na alam naman natin na ang niacinamide has a lot of benefits to the skin. Nakakatulong siya for both red marks and dark spots. Niacinamide also helps sa pag-prevent and reduce ng signs of aging like fine lines and wrinkles. Plus, nakakatulong din ang niacinamide in strengthening our skin barrier. And last but not the least, if gumagamit ka ng acne medications, using niacinamide can also be a good booster kasi nakakatulong din siya sa pagka-oily ng skin natin. Now, do take note though na ang sinabi ko is booster. So, marami kasing nag-iisip na, okay, yes, ang daming effects ng niacinamide, ang dami niya nagagawa sa skin, which is true. However, yung mga effects nito ni niacinamide tend to be a bit more mild sa skin compared to the gold standard ingredients for every skin concern. Kumbaga, hindi siya magiging as powerful on its own as compared to, let's say, retinol na kahit na gamitin mo siya alone, malaki at very maganda yung results na makuha mo for reducing fine lines and mga wrinkles. But with that being said, kahit sidekick lang si niacinamide, ang maganda sa kanya is pwede siya maging sidekick with a lot of different ingredients. Meaning, you can use niacinamide as a booster for many skin concerns. So just to give you an example, magbibigay ako ng ingredient combinations with niacinamide kung ano yung na-achieve nila. So una, we have yung kaninang minention ko na which was retinol plus niacinamide. So yung effects nun would be to address aging, dark spots, and red marks. Si niacinamide din natutulungan niyang mas matolerate ng skin si retinol. Other than that, we also have niacinamide with BHA or salicylic acid which helps to address excess oil sa mga acne-prone skin types. We also have niacinamide plus other skin brightening ingredients like for example alpha arbutin, tranexamic acid, and again vitamin C para ma-even out yung skin tone and mas matindi nilang ma-target yung dark spots and red marks. And lastly, another often overlooked na combination, niacinamide plus moisturizing ingredients which will actually help you protect and strengthen your skin barrier even more. So now na alam nyo na yung nagagawa ng niacinamide para sa skin natin, move forward naman tayo on how to actually choose products with niacinamide. Now kapag nagsashopping kayo ng mga products with niacinamide, tingnan nyo muna yung ingredients list. And when you see that niacinamide is either mga second, third, or fourth sa ingredients list, chances are mataas yung niacinamide na meron doon. Pero guys, hindi tayo ever magiging sure unless i-disclose talaga ng brand kung ilang percent ba yung ginagamit nila. And mas doon ako naglilin towards na mga brands kasi mas prefer ko talaga na alam ko yung percentage ng niacinamide na meron sa isang product. Especially since depending on the skin concern na gusto mong i-target, merong correspond funding na percentage of niacinamide na dapat ninyong ginagamit. Kasi guys, based on the research na nagpapakita na effective yung niacinamide, meron din silang specific percent na ginamit doon sa research or sa study na yun. So I'll be showing you the corresponding amounts here per skin concern, pero manonotice ninyo sa mga amounts na to guys is it's always somewhere between 2 to 5 percent. So essentially, if gusto nyo makuha lahat ng mga benefits ng niacinamide na na-mention natin in this video, then you should go for a product na mga 4 percent or 5 percent yung niacinamide. Niya. Para din, wala ka nang ibang iniisip if, for example, effective ba to for this concern or this concern kasi covered niya na lahat with 5%. And even with 5%, guys, wala ka nang aalahanin na irritation because dahil nga very mild na ingredient ang niacinamide, even beginners can start at 5% and very low yung chances na ma-irritate yung skin nila. Actually, yung iba, na-irritate lang yung skin nila kasi gumagamit sila ng 10%, tapos beginner pa sila. So, sobrang nag adjust yung skin nila and minsan, da yung irritation, nagko-cause talaga siya ng redness and for some, yung irritation can also cause breakouts. Now, other than that, yung usage naman ng niacinamide is also very easy and beginner-friendly. Now, when you start with niacinamide, you can use it every day already kahit unang week mo pa lang. Actually, kahit two times a day, pwede siya if hindi naman sensitive yung skin type ninyo. But of course, definitely monitor it throughout the days if nakakuha ba ng irritation sa skin. Now, like I did say earlier, ang niacinamide can be used with almost all other ingredients. Yes, even vitamin C. Once again, uulitin ko, yung research na sinasabing hindi sila okay together and irritating sila sa skin is a very, very old research na kinundok sila in extremely high heat. And yung extremely high heat na yun, guys, hindi yun yung parang summer sa Pilipinas, ha? As in, yung sobrang mainit na hindi na mabubuhay yung tao. And again nga, guys, sabi ko, since then, both cosmetic scientists and board-certified dermatologists na debunk na nila yung claim na to. And yes, pwede silang gamitin together. But again, remember what I said, just because pwede siyang gamitin together does not always mean you should. So, try nyo muna, and then, if wala namang irritation yung skin niyo, then go ahead. But if your skin feels irritated from it, then you should just choose one, and ang recommended ko na piliin niyo is niacinamide muna. And then, for the amount of niacinamide on the skin, depending 
depende rin siya sa product na ginagamit ninyo. If serum yung ginagamit ninyo na niacinamide, 2 to 3 drops is fine. If toner siya, ako personally, I use around mga 5 to 10 drops, depending doon sa consistency or kung gaano ka watery yung toner. For moisturizer, usually sa akin, size ng isang 25 centavo coin is pwede na as a minimum. Pero sa inyo, pwede nyo pa yung dagdagan or bawasan, depende talaga sa skin type ninyo. And also, speaking of serums and moisturizers with niacinamide, napakarami ko na rin mga videos on product recommendations na merong niacinamide. So for this video, ipapakita ko na lang sa inyo yung mga favorite niacinamide products ko currently na beginner friendly din. So here with me, I have an example for each kind of product na merong niacinamide. So unahin natin itong favorite niacinamide moisturizer ko. We have Fresh Skin Labs Jeju Aloe Ice BT21 Edition. And as you can see here sa packaging niya, meron siyang 5% niacinamide. Very easy to buy and lagi lang tong available sa mga Watsons. Now next up, for toners with niacinamide, na-mention ko na sa inyo to sa best hydrating toners video ko, I really do love Good Molecules Niacinamide Brightening Toner. In fact, second bottle ko na to. Now this does have 3% niacinamide and 2% arbutin, so definitely nakakatulong din talaga to for dark spots and red marks. Out of all the products sa list na to, ito rin yung pinaka-lightweight na option kasi nga watery siya. And lastly, for serums, for those na recently nanonood na mga videos ko, I'm sure nakita niyo na tong product na to because I've been mentioning it so much in the past few videos. This is Sol Apothecary's Radiance Boost Serum. Ito talaga favorite na favorite ko to for dark spots because this combines niacinamide 5% with other skin brightening ingredients like alpha arbutin, tranexamic acid, and undecilinoyl phenylalanine to target skin discoloration. So that's red marks and dark spots. Alright, so from the very popular niacinamide, let's move forward to the other popular commonly used active in skincare, ang pinanggalingan ng mga terms na AHA, BHA, and PHA na nakikita ninyo sa mga skincare products ninyo. These are exfoliating acids. Na actually, isa rin itong exfoliating acids sa mga topics that I have made a lot of videos on. In fact, meron din akong separate video on how to exfoliate for beginners and even how to use certain exfoliants for acne-prone skin. So yung mga i-mention ko na information dito are a bit more shortened, pero kung gusto ninyo ng mga mas in-depth na explanation, I will link you to the exfoliation for beginners video here. Now to put very simply kung ano ang ginagawa ng exfoliating acids, basically mga skincare ingredients sila that help us shed off yung mga mature or dead skin cells na either nasa surface or nasa loob na ng pores natin para hindi tayo magka-clog pores and or magka-dull skin. And when it comes to choosing exfoliants, meron na akong very simple rule of thumb which is if oily and acne prone ka, matik yan. Look for products with BHA because it goes deep into your pores and will unclog the dead skin cells from there. Pero kung clear naman yung skin niyo pero medyo dry or dull siya or if you want to prevent the signs of aging or if you have textured skin, look for either AHA or PHA sa isang skincare product. So ito naman, nag-work sila on the surface of the skin and nandun usually yung mga texture, yung mga signs of aging, mga dryness and dullness of your skin, usually nasa surface siya. Pero guys, if you feel like you have skin concerns na maa-address both ng AHA and BHA, meron din namang mga products that have both these ingredients in one formula. Mas marerecommend ko yon kaysa sa maghanap kayo ng isang product na BHA and AHA and then imimix and match nyo siya kahit hindi naman siya dapat minimix and match. Again guys, another recipe na naman yon for skin irritation. And then when it comes to the percentages na ginagamit as well as kung paano siya gamitin, medyo mahaba-habang topic to actually dito siya mas nagiging complex kasi it highly depends on your skin type and your skin concern and also kung anong percentage ba yung ginagamit mo talaga. Pero guys, don't worry kasi na-cover na natin yung topic na yon. Hindi lang natin siya makocover sa video na to, but I will link it in the i button above. But just to give you guys yung mga percentages na effective na dapat hinahanap niyo sa mga exfoliating products, lalo na as beginners, just remember yung BHA, it should be at least 0.5% to 1% for beginners. And then, pag sanay na kayo with BHA, you can use up to 2%. Yun na yung maximum strength niya for the face and for the body. Meanwhile, for AHAs and PHAs, we have 3.5% to 6% for beginners. And then, you can go up to 7% to 10% if medyo adjusted or sanay na yung skin ninyo to exfoliants. And then, 15% and up for those that have been exfoliating for months to years already or kapag inadvise sa inyo ng derma ninyo. And ayun na nga, depending on the percentage na pinili or ginamit ninyo, meron din siyang corresponding dosage or usage sa skin or yung dalas ng paggamit. And yun guys, again, mas ma-explain yun ng mabuti doon sa exfoliation for beginners 
listeners video ko. And if you guys are using products with BHA or salicylic acid, meron din akong separate video on how to use that ingredient. Again, ilalagay ko sa i button. Meron na rin akong mga product suggestions na nilagay sa mga videos na yon, So, very, very easy to follow na lang kapag naghahanap na lang kayo ng mga exfoliating products that you can use. But just to mention guys, a very simple and safe way na gamitin yung mga exfoliants sa routine ninyo kapag medyo wala pa kayong idea on how to use them is to always just follow the instructions sa packaging. Kasi guys, most of the time, aware na talaga yung mga brands na hindi naman lahat is marunong na agad gumamit ng mga exfoliating products. So, very beginner-friendly yung mga mababasa mong instructions behind the packaging. So, just an example, kunyari itong mga Good Molecules products na ginagamit ko for exfoliation, may kita nyo na sa likod na meron silang mga directions and mga labels. Kunyari ito sa glycolic exfoliating treatment, meron na kayong may kitang PM and SPF na label sa kanya, meaning preferably ginagamit siya sa gabi. And to always wear sunscreen every day, especially if actively niyong ginagamit tong product na to. Meanwhile, itong overnight exfoliating treatment ng Good Molecules, it does say na up to 3 times lang dapat siya gamitin per week. Kasi medyo mataas na yung AHA niya. I think from around 9 to 10 percent na yung AHA nito. Which is more for those nasa 9 na dapat sa exfoliation. While itong glycolic exfoliation toner nila is a bit more gentle. This has 3.5 percent. Very, very beginner friendly. And speaking of these products pala guys, if you are interested na tingnan yung percentages and or yung mga additional ingredients na nasa formula nila, I will be putting all the products na minention ko in this video in the description box as well as yung corresponding nila na store online para hindi na kayo mahirapang hanapin sila sa Shopee, sa Lazada, sa BTMNL and also para if ever magustuhan nyo sila na sa legit seller or shop na kayo and authentic yung mga mabibili ninyong mga products. So yun na siya guys. I hope you found this video informative and if you did, please do leave me a thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this. And as always guys, I will see you in the next video. Bye!